Hey guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm doing a comparison video between Atlas trims. Uh, just give you a little bit of tutorial on what goes where in the trim lines. I've got all of those Atlases lined up there and I've got two more in another row. They're lined up in order so you can figure out what Atlas works best for you. This is going to be the 2019 model year. Let's take a look at what we get here. This first one. This is going to be an Atlas S. This is a V6 with an optional tow hitch. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, 18 inch Prisma wheels. A little bit of chrome at the bottom of the windowsill. Chrome on the back where the Atlas logo is or nameplate is. 5,000 pound tow hitch and chrome exhaust tips. Let's take a look on the inside here. Manual seat adjustments. As we turn down the AC here, sorry, I'm going to have to do that in each one of these cars because uh, it's a uh, heat index of 110 today. So you get power door locks right there, power mirrors and heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down with a window lock. Again, this is the Atlas S. Automatic headlights, a coin box down here for storage adjustable steering wheel that's telescoping it's a plastic uh, uh, kind of uh, rigid uh, plastic texture on the steering wheel there cruise control volume control right here for your stereo you also have Apple and Siri functionality there a customizable center display right there that little rectangular spot there you can change what's displayed there uh, between speed fuel economy uh, oil temperature etc speed warning um, and then your two regular dials, your tachometer and, and uh, temperature gauge over here, and then fuel gauge and speedometer right here. Over here you have an MIB2 radio. This is a composite screen right here. Uh, so it is a bit of a touch screen, so you can actually change uh, radio stations there. Um, and it does also come AM, FM with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You just use the USB port down here plugged into your phone and now you've got navigation on this screen here. The backup camera for this unit is a static camera. It's just the green line there that stays put and the red line signifies where your bumper is. Um, so let's go back over here for assist systems. Assist systems over here you're going to have blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert and front assist. Brushed aluminum finish right here and then you're also going to have um, SD card holder slots down there for this SD card slot right here but there is no CD player there is no satellite it's just AM and FM on this unit the seats are cloth with a kind of a, a diamond stitch pattern uh, the chrome uh, the chrome uh, finish goes through the door across the dash and into the door on the other side little cubby here for storage and then an armrest with further storage in here as you move up you'll get a USB in here but on this one you do not uh, it does have rain sensing wipers and a manual uh, mirror for dimming vanity mirror on each side as you step up these go to a little light above them to help you out to assist um, as an S this unit only comes with a bench seat no armrest in the middle right there or cup holder so this is a 15 cup holder option let's take a look at the second row this particular one comes in at 36 335 there's a look at the bench seat climate control back here is a little different uh, you can control it from up front you can also lock them out at the front but you do have um, fan control here temperature control back here as well For these seats for your third row passengers to get in you just lift up on this little handle right here seat goes forward passengers go in if you're running an uber and you're just running it for passengers you're running a taxi in new york city or something like that or a large city this is a great car to have just to shuttle seven passengers around get them to and fro uh it's a no frills kind of like a southwest flight kind of uh car but it's super functional uh, carries people lots of room, lots of headroom, lots of leg room. Let's take a look at the uh, back hatch. There is also a rear wiper there. Here's a look through from the back. 
true seven passenger SUV. Vents for the real pa rear passengers in the back. Um, and then this one also comes with cloth mats, rubber mats, cargo containment blocks, and a roadside assistance kit. The spare is underneath the floor right there, underneath the carpet, and there's your tra trailer hitch and ball right there. So this car does come pretty nicely equipped for an S model, a base model, Atlas. So this is your entry level. So I'm trying to put stuff back with one hand here. And this does have a manual lift gate. All of these cars are gonna have a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on them. As we move over to the SE, this particular one, still LED running lights, LED headlights. You do upgrade the fog lights, 18 inch Prisma wheels. You add keyless entry, this little dimple right here on the door. It's on all four doors over here. Blind spot monitoring also. You move up to leatherette seats that are heated. A lumbar support up front, power seat adjustments right there. As we step inside this one, and again, I'm gonna turn down the uh, AC here. Now the big difference here from the S is you're gonna move up to a dual zone climate zone up front with a third zone and also a touchscreen option here where you can bring up uh, climate control on the screen and adjust your temperature on a touch screen. Also you're going to upgrade to air care which is your air filtration system. All the windows and doors must be sealed uh, and the sunroof closed for this to work but this little blue line it expands throughout the cabin. Uh, it's filtering outside pollutants and allergens out of the air. We look over here you got uh, power door locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors once again, one touch up one touch down window locks right there you still get automatic headlights but of course you've added fog lights now coin box stays you now have a leather wrap steering wheel instead of just the hard plastic one cruise control functionality and all that is still there it is still a telescoping steering wheel so you can pull it out push it in raise it lower it and you still have the customizable display in the center right there over here the touchscreen radio changes a bit so it's now smooth glass here with two knobs and these little impacted buttons right here. You still come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on this one and one USB down below, but that dual climate zone with a rest button, which allows you to recirculate the air through the car uh, while the car is off. Rear view camera now has trajectory steering. That yellow line moves as you turn the steering wheel, the green line stays static, the red line stays, signifies where your bumper is. You keep the brushed aluminum finish on the inside here and into the door. You do gain an SD card reader in a glove box and a CD player, also satellite radio. Here's a look at the leatherette seats, which are heated. Headrest adjustment right there, adjustable seat belts. The S does have it too, I just didn't go over those. Uh, four motion knob right here. Um, that S model will also have this. Uh, you have off-road, off-road custom. You can go in and change aspects of the drive uh, just by going into the screen here, turning the knob. Pretty nice, this little knob right here. And then also you have drive modes. So you have uh, eco, normal, sport, and custom. You'll have that in a four motion version on the S as well. Um, now in this armrest now, you do gain a USB port right there with storage and a leatherette covered top here. Then your options for interior color change. You do get the Shetland interior color option and a black one as well. Here's a look at that bench seat in the SE. This particular one here, the climate control setup is about the same. A uh, little different with that auto button right there. Um, and then you gain two USBs and a 12 volt charger down below. You do also gain an armrest right there to give you 17 cup holder options. And the seat works the same, lift up. Push the seat forward, passengers climb into the back. Notice that large uh, distance there between the seat and the floor, so that gives you more comfort for adult passengers. Another nice feature about all of these Atlases is if you go with a three row SUV like this and you go with the bench seats, you're able to do three car seats in this row, all side by side. As you go in the SE, you also add this screen right here, this window screen. This particular one's priced at $39,575. Its extras are the tow package uh, and monster mats and also extended rage remote with key fob. So this one has a key fob that will start it from up to a mile away. This is pure white. This still has a manual lift gate as well as the tow hitch. 
Here's a look through from the back. Seats do fold down for added storage. Both rows fold flat. The S will do this as well. This one comes with cargo blocks, cloth mats, and monster mats as well, spare underneath. Chrome exhaust tips again, tow hitch there. Now we're going to move over to this one. This one still has fog lights. Keep in mind we've added fog lights. This is an SE with tech. This one has the same lumbar support and power seat, black leatherette, same dual zone climate zone as I turn that down. We've now added adaptive cruise control. We've also added lane assist, rear traffic alert is standard, and front assist is also standard. So we've added lane assist and blind, or I'm sorry, adaptive cruise control to this unit. Uh, still same layout, adjustable screen right here in the middle. Your uh, analog tachometer and temperature gauge, as well as fuel gauge and speedometer over there. Automatic headlights, fog light, coin box storage here. Power mirrors, one touch up, one touch down. Window locks, uh, power seat again. And now we still have that rear view camera that's app connect and Android Auto capable and has trajectory steering. So you keep that. Each one of these steps up, you keep these add-ons. So this one here has, again, the dual climate zone with the touchscreen radio or touchscreen radio and uh, climate control. Also has air care. Still one USB port up here. They all keep that the same. Um, Remote start is now added along with keyless entry and you have a USB inside there Again, there's a look at the leatherette seat. It is heated. We've now upgraded to wood grain interior across the dash and onto the door SD card reader right there as well as SD card holders CD uh, Satellite and AM and FM radio satellite radios free for three months Power lift gate right there so we can actually open the lift gate using that latch there instead of manual. This particular unit is priced at $42,475. Its upgrades are including the silver spoke wheels, which are 20 inch wheels, upgraded from 18, the tow hitch, and then also an auto dimming mirror. Here's a look at those bench seats again. Nice armrest in the middle again. Keep in mind these cars will allow you to do three car seats across this row. If you go with captain's chairs, you're obviously only gonna get two. There's a look at the back row seats. Those headrests do lift up. Seats fold flat again. Keep in mind too, these do all have the third row vent in the C pillar and this climate control back here with USB ports. The S is the only one that does not. Here's a look through from the back of this one. This one is tourmaline blue. Monster mats, rubber mats, which are your rubber mats, cargo blocks. This one has a cargo cover, which with the third row seats folded down, fits in right there. They all also come with a uh, cigarette adapter right here behind the seat belt clip for the third row. Again, power lift gate, tow hitch. There's a look at those 20 inch spoke wheels. Those are an upgrade on that car. Next, we go over to a turbo SE. I'm sorry, SE with tech turbo. Same setup here. Everything's gonna be the same on the inside. The only difference is it's powered 2.0 turbo instead of a 276 horsepower V6. Everything on the inside is the same. This one does have another upgrade in the fact that it has a uh, edgeless mirror with mirror link and also a home link mirror with uh, home links, excuse me, and a compass right there, three door garage door memory there. And we've added the optional panoramic sunroof with power sunshade for this one. This one here, uh, the sunshade. Uh, is standard with the sunroof and the home link mirror also comes with that as an add-on package let's take a look at the uh, well here we'll open the sunroof real quick that sunroof panel does stack on top of the uh, secondary glass panel there with a pop-up windscreen but it's so super hot out I'm gonna go ahead and close that right back and then also close that sunshade now the SE with tech is the first level where you can add a sunroof it's not standard this particular one's priced at $39,435. The add-ons are going to be the panoramic sunroof for $1,200, 20-inch silver wheels for $700, auto dimming mirror for $325, monster mats for $285, first aid kit for $35. Sunshades stay in the doors just like they did on the other two models. You do also have this climate control right here, armrest right here, and again, these seats. You can keep a car seat, a front-facing car seat in the seat. You don't have to, to remove it for passengers to get in with this one. You just lift up, 
that seat and it goes forward and then you just lift up and it goes back third row access is just as easy as before again a powered lift gate this particular one does not have a tow hitch it's got the 2.0 liter turbo engine uh, tow towing package on this one does not come on it uh, if you do get it on this one you're only going to have a 2,000 po uh, pound towing capacity there's a look at how large that panoramic sunroof is and again these seats will fold flat just like they do on the others there's a look at your third row of C pillar vents right there nice looking car same chrome exhaust tips now we're moving up to an SE with tech R line this is where some really big visual changes take effect on the R line you're gonna get that badge right there R line badge also down below right here you're gonna get the black piano black shroud around the fog lights and also that little chrome strip in the middle these 20 inch alloy wheels R line badge on the side right here and then below this chrome line down below right here body colored paint instead of hard plastic that all the others get along the back you're also going to get that piano and again right there around the type and the uh, um, tow hitch our line badging on the driver's side door as well and then our line badging on the steering wheel again this car is still an SE with tech so there's no difference it's just visual so everything that that SE with tech had over there and the SE had this one will have with the added adaptive cruise control lane assist blind spot monitoring and um, front assist this car is the hot seller this one in particular does have the mirror link I'm sorry uh, the home link mirror as well and then also a um, light above the vanity mirror on each side you can get this with a sunroof this one does not have that still leatherette heated seats let's take a look at this second row here this one's priced at 43525 this one has extras the 5,000 pound tow hitch um, the tow hitch extras auto dimming rearview mirror and monster mats again this one has a bench captain's chairs are optional armrest with a cup holder right there and again same easy access to the third row the back of this one is also going to have that easy open lift gate this one here again is tourmaline blue monster mats cloth mats are all included in this one and the seats fold flat once again okay again this is a se with tech r line comes in all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive with a v6 now we've moved up to an sel sel comes with these 20 inch wheels as an upgrade it will come with the standard 18 inch wheels if you don't specify that or if the car doesn't have that but the upgrades jump up quite a bit here now you get Volkswagen's digital cockpit this digital cockpit is version 1.0 uh, there is a 2.0 for 2019 um, no one officially calls it that I've dubbed it that so if you go in a dealership and ask for the 2.0 screen they're not gonna know what you're talking about necessarily um, now this is customizable where you can change the view uh, you can also change the size of the dials uh, this is stolen from Audi what this one adds it adds um, the digital cockpit it adds navigation it adds a heated steering wheel uh, you keep the same radio same backup camera whoops there we go let's try to get it in gear okay so there's your same backup camera you also have dual climate zone here with air care uh, all of that stuff standard just like before uh, but the heated steering wheel now comes up on the screen right here you do also have LED tail lights now in addition to navigation and park pilot sensors right here so these sensors are the ones that beep at the front of the car and the rear of the car to tell you when you're getting close to an object same leatherette seats wood grain interior once again now a sunroof is standard standard sunroof with a power sunshade works the same as the SE with tech did over there with the turbo also has car net which is free for six months and also um, garage door memory up here standard three-door garage door memory all right once again it's super hot outside so I'm gonna close that let's take a look at the second row Keep in mind these 20 inch wheels are still an upgrade on the SEL however most of them built come with those on there so it'll be on the sticker already 
700 bucks for the triple spoke silver wheels. You can get them as a black set of wheels as well. Second row, um, captain's chairs in this one are 695, monster mats, privacy cover, and then luggage net for the cargo area and a roadside assistance kit or your extras. This is a look at the captain's chair option. So this is a true six seater, same climate control there. The other upgrade here is now, instead of having a cigarette adapter, you have a three prong plug in right here. So you can plug in a laptop, you can plug in something that's low amperage right there. Um, also two USBs. Car seats are gonna work the same in these. Captain's chair, you just lift up, seat goes forward, and your passenger's climbing the back. I have a number of customers who opted for captain's chair initially, and then once they realized how easy it was to get in and out of the car, as you look at the windscreen right there, or the window screen, once they realized how easy it was to get in the car with the bench, they opted for the seven seater option and why pay extra for less seats. Here's a look through from the back. Giant panoramic roof ahead. Roadside assistance kit, monster mats, cloth mats. Same power lift gate. This now has an easy kick open lift gate. Just a kick of the leg to the left. As you see the LED tail lights right there. Now we've moved up to the hot seller. This is our hottest seller and our hottest selling color of this car. This is the SEL R-Line in pure white with Shetland beige interior. Again, notice the eye for detail on this car. The body color paint below, 20 inch wheels, badging right here, black, piano black shroud around the fog lights and the chrome strip right there. R-Line badging in the grill, same on the passenger side. This will be the exact same car as the SEL, only with these added features. So when we look inside, here's a look at that Shetland beige interior. We've added three seat memory as well. I didn't mention on the other one, but we did add that. Volkswagen's digital cockpit right here. This is version 2.0, where you can go widescreen on that view and also have a crop screen and then the dial screen. And then there's also a back screen where you can go in and edit what shows up there. Coin box stays, power windows, all of that stuff stays. The wood grain interior stays. This one just has lipstick on it. The R-Line uh, badging and um, exterior is just an extra, but it's easier to find now that we call it an SEO R-Line online. Um, R-Line badging right here. There's also a boot screen on the radio that shows R-Line. Nothing's different here other than the other, than the other one we were just in. Same panoramic sunroof. Power sunshade, car net, and then also um, your home link mirror. There's a look at your power sunroof. Let's take a look at the second row. Oh, and this does have a power lift gate where you can power open it and also power close it from the driver's seat. You don't have to get out. On the other SE with tech, you'd have to get out to close it, but you can open it from inside. This one's priced at $46,425. The only extras on this are going to be the Monster Mats. Again, a bench seat here with an armrest. 60-40 split. They slide forward and back. You lift up on this seat here. And your passengers are able to climb into that back row. Nice looking seat there. These seats do fold flat as well. Just like that. All of the Atlases do this, but I didn't need to demonstrate that in every Atlas. So as we move to the back here, again, LED taillights. Look at the lift gate right here. This one's also four motion. You can get this in front wheel drive as well. So if that seat was not uh, reclined right there, we could push that all the way down, but there's a look at your space. I wanna go ahead and fold this seat down as well. So here's a look at your interior space. I actually own an SEL, not an R-Line, but an SEL. So this is our popular, most popular color, most cop popular setup, um, and it's just the hottest seller for us of all the Atlases. Next, we're going to go over to the SEL Premiums, so just bear with me for a second here. Okay, so this is an SEL Premium in Fortana Red. It comes standard with those 20-inch silver tri-spoke wheels. LED headlights, LED running lights, halogen fog lights, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane assist, 
360 degree camera, LED tail lights. All of the features that the SEL and all the others had, just it's added even more. So let's take a look inside of this one. Our upgrades continue. We now hit the Vienna leather. This is Vienna leather. It's heavily perforated. These seats are heated and ventilated. You have the digital cockpit again. This is version 2.0. Uh, everything that you had in the SEL, you've now added power folding mirrors. So now these mirrors will fold in with the twist of the knob. Um, premium audio, so you have Fender audio now. You also have a subwoofer in the rear trunk, uh, just above the spare. And the wood grain interior pattern has changed. It's still wood grain interior, but it's a different wood grain on the inside. Um, you do have a panoramic sunroof with sunshade as well. And you still have a lighted... Um, vanity mirror on each side parking control here you do have uh, trajectory steering once again this one has a um, bumper guard or bumper applique on the back which is not standard on any of these units um, there's a look for at your heated steering wheel in the glove box here you do keep it's my bag of keys uh, you do have um, a USB port inside of here as well um, as you look closer at that seat there AM, FM, and satellite radio with the navigation SD card right there, SD card holder there, extra SD card right there. There's a look at your giant panoramic sunroof again. Now the second set of seats are also leather, not leather at. This one comes in at 51,030. The upgrades include uh, captain's chairs, um, also the trailer hitch, monster mats, rear bumper applique, cargo net, and roadside assistance kit. Here's a look at those captain's chairs again right here. 